Well, welcome back to the big board. Let's, uh, let's get after it. We're having a look at OCS, the Forgotten War, and we're looking at the Chinese intervene scenario. And we are in, let's see, I think, uh, start of turn nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, start of turn nine, the, it'll be the 22nd of December. So what's important here? I think <clears throat> this is a pretty interesting scenario in, in terms of the fragility, fragility of both sides' forces. Uh, both sides have a different type of fragility, but uh, nevertheless, they're both relatively fragile. Um, a lot of the uh, rock forces and some of the American forces have very low ARs and are only one step. And even the uh, stronger units are only one step as well. But then also the, uh, the Chinese forces, communist forces, have some relatively high AR units and multi-steps, but a lot of lower three and two, there's some twos in here somewhere, uh, two AR units. I've got most of them in the backfield uh, doing uh, support, uh, covering ports and bases and things of that nature. So... It, it makes you uh, very cautious with how you attack. But the significant advantage that the, the Chinese have is that most of their units are, have three steps. And because they have three steps, <clears throat> we can afford to either force, attack these guys and force them to retreat, or if they really want to hold, they're going to have to take a step loss and, uh, and or uh, they might uh, suffer a, a direct uh, elimination result as well. So here's the loss pile. Pretty substantial compared to the last time I played this, which was an opposed play. And I was playing the uh, communist forces as well. I didn't get to kill as many units. I killed quite a few, I think, but we certainly, and we certainly got to about the same area uh, at, at the end of turn seven, but there weren't as many uh, allied forces lost and I'd lost more Chinese forces because I, I was uh, very aggressive with my attacking. Here, I think I've probably been a little less aggressive, but I've been a little luckier on the die rolls for the uh, the combats. So if it was uh, you know a three or four to one in close terrain, which I'm very happy doing as the Chinese, uh, I've been rolling eight, nine, ten, eleven, <coughs> or better on those die rolls versus uh, some of the other die rolls that I was you know, doing in the last game, I was rolling two, four, five, and six, seven type of thing. And uh, that's usually a mandatory loss for, for the Chinese. So here we're in a little bit of a pickle as the, as the allies or the United Nations. We started building a defensive line, made a mistake and didn't uh, start building uh, hedgehogs here. And that's within two hexes of Incheon and if we don't have Incheon as a functioning port, then we have uh, no tr we have no ability to bring in SP easily, and we lose a trace uh, uh, capability. Otherwise, I've got to trace down to Pusan, and there's only one set of rail lines that go down to Pusan. Uh, so if this force gets surrounded and this city gets taken, this uh, port gets taken out by barrage. Uh, then we're in we're in strife, <clears throat> and in fact it's game over. But because uh, I was uh, trying to be quick retreating, but still not quick enough, I did take heavy losses as the UN player, and I'm actually struggling to build any sort of cohesive line or defensive position while I try and build up these hedgehogs. I was hoping to get a, a line all the way around Seoul, sort of to here, say. Uh, man, it's really hard. I'm, I'm using up so much supply that these guys almost don't have enough supply to fuel up tanks and move. So we're in a little bit of a sticky wicket here and uh, really struggling. The good news is these guys, they advanced, they retreated uh, in the last couple of turns so quickly that these guys are spending a bit of time catching up. And, uh, uh, and, and but, but uh, so that's good that they haven't connected yet. But what they have done is been able to uh, do uh, build some replacements. I've almost completely re rebuilt the 6th Infantry uh, North uh, Korean force and had not a lot of luck on the uh, United Nations, 
United Nations side uh, building reinforcements, uh, replacements, I should say. And we really don't get a lot of reinforcements in this game. No air replacement points and very limited uh, uh, reinforcements. So we're kind of stuck. And there's a lot of forces over here that I don't know uh, why we, we don't get. You know, their second infantry is over there. They are not in the lost pile. 25th infantry is, oh, that's just a, a stakeholder. That's just a, a marker. But some of these guys here, we just don't get them in this particular scenario. So maybe they were withdrawn back to the United States or something. I'm a little unclear on that point. Now in the north, uh, up around, uh, I think it's Hung, Hung Nam here. Yeah, Hung Nam. Just lost this port last turn. Uh, we're now at basically attempting a breakout this way uh, with an effort to try and get to uh, this supply up here. <clears throat> now, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to have to roll for breakout for these guys and I'll probably lose most of them. The only one I really want to try and get out is the, is the Marines and this particular unit here. All the others I'd be fine if, uh, if they... Uh, you know, if, they, if we lost them, it's, they're not uh, adding a lot of value. So I guess what, what I'm a little confused about is, and, and I expect that this is typical here too. I expect that this is, you know, rapid losses uh, and, and development. Uh, we managed to weasel out, get some armor out of here. But uh, what I'm, I'm struggling with is this is a 64 turn scenario. And I don't know, unless you take a significant pause and allow both sides to rebuild forces, which to me would be kind of pointless uh, because I think the Chinese will be finished well before the Americans would be. Um, they're, they're kind of hamstrung by the situation with having to really protect Seoul, uh, hold Seoul and uh, keep this port open. And they don't have enough shipping capacity to bring both reinforcements, uh, you know, well, there are no reinforcements, but bring us enough supply in so they can build these hedgehogs and uh, we can pop the replacement units just down here on the map. That's fine. But I, I'm, I'm struggling to see this game lasting another 40 turns, 50 turns. Uh, so we'll keep at it and we'll see what happens. But it's been an interesting little exercise here. And uh, it's a fascinating scenario, and I like the map, I like the weather, uh, I like the, the force mix. It's a pretty interesting uh, situation where you've got some relatively quick uh, Chinese forces that are quite nimble with these frozen rivers in December, and uh, it uh, is playing havoc with the traditional form along line and uh, hope it doesn't break type of defense. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you, and we'll see what happens from here. Uh, sort of got this stuff going on in the background here. You've got the, all the infrastructure in the, in the rear there, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I will uh, look forward to catching up with you soon, and we'll, we'll see what happens in the next couple of turns. I might uh, touch base and let you know uh, how it all wraps up, if indeed it does wrap up.